Hey, what's up guys? So we're out here in a rather unassuming spot. So I came over to Oyster Creek Park again, and I'm sitting right on this little cross bridge, this concrete cross bridge that goes right over Oyster Creek, or a tributary of Oyster Creek. It's very, very shallow here. But as you can see, if I turn you guys out this way, you can see the banks are covered in this thick vegetation, and uh, it's very steep. So you walk down and it slopes off and it drops into this very narrow channel. And that's because this is the very bottom of the creek. So when you have a, a water feature, normally it dips down into a bowl shape, but at the bottom there's a deeper section that where the channel, the strongest part of the current flows through. Now I've been looking down there and I already see a couple of turtles, which is going to be competition for us. But I'm pretty sure I've spotted a few carp as well. If you guys, the sun is really bright out here. If you guys look, get these out of your way. If you guys look right, I can't even see what you're seeing. Yeah, if you look right around here, you see the ripples. Every now and then there's some bubbles, and actually, I physically saw a carp's tail just going through the water very slowly uh, in a feeding behavior. So I'm gonna get some ground bait out there, and I'm just gonna use one rod today for this. This is really good ground bait. This is some of the best I've made in a while. I've had it for a little bit, so it's kind of falling apart now, which is which is fine for what we're doing here. Try to aim for a spot the size of a hula hoop, no bigger. A few more pieces out there. Our reel today is a trusty center pin. It's an Orvis fly fishing reel that I've got just on a modified, slightly modified casting rod. Basically the only modification is that I cut the trigger off. Got a single SSG shot on here. And then at the end, just a small octopus hook. Tiny, but very sharp. Get the job done. All right, a little bit of ground bait smushed on the hook with a tip still visible. Just gonna pitch it out there, about 15 feet. Ah, oh, we're on, guys. We're on in. Oh, this carp is digging hard for the weeds, but he's out, he's out. That's a big fish. At least big for the water we're in. Hey, he's fighting hard. He's fighting hard. Oh, ho, ho. this looks like, yeah, it's a big carp. Big, beautiful carp. Wonderful. This is great. I want to get the netting on camera if I can. This guy's just, oh man, guys, wait till you see this fish. I don't know if you can see the water down there. There he is, look at that. Yes, this is a good fish. I'm lucky. Because I went and bought us a proper landing net, a big one. Yeah, just gonna draw him closer. Oh, this is a beautiful fish. This is stunning, this is a stunning animal. I can't wait to get this guy in the net. Alright buddy, come here. Come here. In the net. Oh, I just splashed me all over my face. Gross. But, we got him. Lively. Lively fish. Yes, here we go. Be careful, because I don't want to drop him on these rocks. I'm just going to basically Get the hook out and pick him right back up. All right, hook is out. Let me show you. It's a lovely, lovely fish. Pick him up. If he's gonna kick, I'd rather him kick on my knee than on the rocks. There we go. Look at that. You know, for having no plan, just coming out here to a, uh, a random park. Basically, it was the closest park to me where I was at the time. Chuck a little bit of ground bait in the water. A little center pin reel. 
you get this guy, a lovely fish. Just fantastic. I love these tails in these guys. Just this orange, beautiful orange pattern. Just fantastic. Wonderful. Anyway, let's put him back. Not waste time keeping him out of the water. Say goodbye. Bye. And there he goes. And luckily, I brought my rag today. Because <laughs> carp are sure are slimy. Oh, what a good catch. What a good catch. You know, he's put in about 20 minutes worth of work here. And boy, did it pay off. That is fantastic. That is just wonderful. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about a little bit about my ground bait here. Let me get this line. There we go. This line off for me. It's the same ground bait that I always make, except uh, I've put extra oats in it. You can see the oats flaking off, and I've also put lard in it. So I melted some lard and mixed it in, and not only does that kind of make it a little bit stickier, a little bit pastier, which makes it a better hook bait, I feel, but also it uh, puts a better sentry on the water, so it draws fish in from further out. Uh, you know, honestly, I was expecting to catch a little bullhead catfish. That was fantastic. I'm so happy with that. Anyway, try putting lard in your ground bait, see what it does for you. Anyway, keep tuned. Got some fishing expeditions planned, a lot of new places that I found that I want to go. Some of you guys gave me some good suggestions that I'm going to try out. And man, oh man, I'm telling you, I hear the sharks calling my name, guys. I think we might have to just go out and get us, get us some sharks soon. But until then, I appreciate your views, and I'll see you guys later.